I was reading this week, actually, oh, I was reading something else, but it took me to something, then it took me to something, it took it me, to, and I ended up on, uh, on, a, on a biography, actually, an autobiography of Moses Mendelssohn. Have you ever heard that name? Yeah. No, you haven't. Yeah. You haven't. He did not play outfield for the Mets. <laughs> Moses Mendelssohn was the great-grandfather of Felix Mendelssohn, who was the great composer. That's the one you're thinking about. Moses was his great-grandfather. And he was born a young man, and he was uh, a farmer kind of guy, and, but he had a love for music like no one else ever did. And he worked very hard as a young man, and it was particularly difficult for him. He would go to, um, uh, what was this, I wrote the city down. He lived outside the city of Hamburg, and he would often go to the merchant there. They had a big kind of farmer's market merchant thing, and he would go and, and, and sell his goods on the weekends. And, and the, margin, the, the merchant that was in charge of it, head over the whole thing, had a beautiful daughter. Now, as a young man, he uh, would look at the daughter and go, hmm, I like that, and wanted to get to know the daughter. But the problem was he had a handicap. And what the handicap was is he had this huge, he was a humpback, so much so that he was bent over. And it was huge, and it was ugly, and it was nasty, and, and, it, and that's why I say his work was extra hard for him because of this uh, handicap on his back. And he knew that no girl, no young lady would ever, ever want to consider him as a possible uh, date or husband or anything. So he kind of lived alone, but the one time he would, each weekend, he'd come into town and bring all his merchant stuff and his, give it to the head merchant, and they would sell his stuff. And he would get a chance to say hi or to talk to the, the daughter. One Sunday, he asked the daughter a question. This is the greatest pickup line ever. I mean, greatest pickup line ever. He asked the daughter, he said, can I ask you a question? And she's being polite and everything. says, sure. And he says, do you believe that marriages are made in heaven? And her answer was, yes, I do. And he says, so do I. And then he asked her a second question. He says, do you believe that God has somebody on this earth for everybody? And she says, yes, I believe that. I think God has someone for everybody here. He says, I think that too. I'll tell you of a vision I had. I was praying in my room when the, God, when the Lord appeared to me. And I asked him, is there someone for everybody? And he said, there is, Moses. Why do you ask? And Moses said, because I would love to be, as I grow into a young man, I would love to marry a beautiful woman. And the Lord answered me and said, you will marry a beautiful woman, one that I've chosen just for you. However, she will carry a terrible burden on her back. It will be a horrific hump that will bend her over her whole life and become a hardship every day of her life. And with that, Moses said, I cried to the Lord. I said, no, Lord, let me carry the hump that she can remain tall and strong and beautiful. And the Lord granted me that burden. And then the vision ended, and to this day I carry that burden. Well, she was so impressed with that answer. And she thought she was the beautiful woman that he saved from the horrible home. That she eventually started dating him and married him and became the great-grandmother of Felix Mendelssohn, <laughs> who had become the composer. Now, if that ain't a pickup line. Oh, it's one of the <laughs> The Lord gave me a vision. We are commanded to know love. John says, anyone who loves is born of God and knows God because love is God and love comes from above. Those who cannot love 
The reason is they do not know God. It's that simple. They haven't experienced it yet. And yet we are commanded to love one another. The very last words of Jesus before he went to the, the cross at Calvary was, love one another as I have loved you. Obviously it's possible for us but oftentimes, Christians are unable to do what the Lord commands. We're going to talk about love this morning a little bit. Dive a little bit deeper into it. First, I want you to stand up. We're going to sing a song that is... Uh